After the first of three at the Bob, Albi Lopez making his first career start against the Cubs and gets Sammy swinging, then walking in the first. But take another look. After the strikeout, Lopez jumps and lands awkwardly on his right foot. Celebrate safely, people. He whipped off and stayed in the game. Top four, zeros on the board. This time, Sosa took it like a man for strike three. Fourth K of the night for Lopez. Bottom five still bagels on the board. Reggie Sanders against Kevin Tappany. Sanders sends this one right. It is gone for home run number 24. D-backs up one nothing. Sammy, not his night. Sosa goes down again. Third strikeout of the evening. Lopez, seven innings, eight strikeouts. Bottom seven, one all tie. One off for Reggie Sanders against Tappany. And you're so not catching that. Deep to left center and gone second of the game, number 25 on the season. Top eight, 3-2 zone up, Young Hung Kim. He gets Sosa for his fourth strikeout of the game. 0 for four for him. Bottom eight, 5-2 D-backs. Runners on second and third for Kim against Jeff Becerra. When Kim knocks a base knock to right, Steve Finley and Sanders score. Kim's very first major league hit, and the D-backs win it 7-2. That's your final. The night with a base hit in eight straight at bats threatening Bip Roberts national league record of 10 straight bottom three facing Greg Maddox to short Ray Sanchez hey. pulls Ken Caminiti off the bag hit. the score hit oh, oh E6 robbed the streak ends at eight Bottom four, Barry Bonds, after grounding out in his first at bat single to center, he would steal second but was stranded. We're scoreless through five. 1-1 one, one in the seventh. Brian Jordan with a man on third. It's Chipper Jones. Sack flies to center. That's plenty deep enough for Chipper. And the Braves take a 2-1 lead. Can they make it stick? Bottom seven. Bases full of Giants. Rich Aurelia facing Mike Remlinger. And Remlinger with those hideous socks. <laughs> flies out to Andrew Jones. Aurelia flies out. That takes care of that. Bottom eight, John Smoltz rings up Barry. Barry's not enthused about that call. Next batter, Jeff Ken, who hit a solo homer earlier in the game. Takes Smoltz deep to center. Andrew Jones. Nice catch, Hayes. Don't ever do it again. It's on the warning track. And the Braves hold on. John Smoltz gets the save. Maddox, the win is 16th. Hernandez gets the loss to drop to 11 and 12. And the NLS lead coming into Friday's visit from the Mets. Gary Sheffield, who's dizzy? Bottom one off Glendon Rush. A three run shot is 26th. Welcome back, 3 0 Dodgers. Bottom three, Rush facing Sheff again. And just can't get this thing right. In the hole for a base hit. They're going to wave Adrian Beltre. Rush lasted only two and two third. Gave up six runs on five hits. 4 0 LA. Bottom four, one on one out for Beltre. Trey, who belts a looper to left center. One run comes in. Beltre in his second. He's now 9 for 14 in three games as LA's leadoff man. 6 0 Dodgers. Top five. This is Siyoshi Shinjo, and that's a home run. It just keeps on carrying to dead center is seventh. And the Mets are on the board down 6 2. Three batters later, first and second, Joe McEwing. To center Marquise Grissom, he's got it. Ray Odonias tags at second, and Grissom throws a bullet. End of the inning, end of the Mets threat. The Dodgers go on to win the game, 8-3. to three. Season high, seventh straight loss for the Mets. Game against Paul Abbott, and right out of the box, and right out of the park. Deep right center, second leadoff homer in his many games, seventh of his career, and yanks up, duh. One nothing. Now top of the second. One on Mike Casita comes up big. Snares the Mike Cameron liner, then throws the first for the double play. Ends up play by him. Ending over. Bottom second. Same score. One on Shane Spencer. Go time. Well, the man just the Off Abbott. Two run poke. Seventh of the season. Yanks up three nothing. And Abbott is clearly not happy. Top third. Same score. Mussina getting it going. Stan Javier. Watch your step as you exit the box. Next batter, Dan Wilson, seeking, not finding, two outs. Next batter, Carlos Guillen, and Messina gets him chasing the cheese. Messina, no earned runs, one hit, four strikeouts through three innings. He's $88 million good. Not top of the fourth, save score, each roll for his base. Strike him out and throw him out, courtesy Mark McLemore, the strikeout, or a Posada on the throw. 
Saw to make it up for an 0 for 4 day, and Nitro darn near avoided the tag. Nimble, but yes, still out. Now, top of the fifth. Ends down 4 nothing. Nobody on, nobody out. Still no one on. Cameron down again. 26 consecutive game in which Cameron has struck out the most since 75. Top seven, Dan Wilson, 1, 6, 3. And pack up the kids. Messina, seven innings, five hits. Yankees win it 4 0. The Moose put nine on base, including four via walks, but doesn't allow a run as the Yanks score just the second shutout. Para getting a night off. Top four, 3 2 Baltimore. Brooke Fordyce off Tim Wakefield, the solo shot is fifth. Fordyce tied a career high with four hits, 4 2 0. Bottom five, Josh Towers facing Dante. Carl Everett takes off for 30s in there. Bad throw is going to allow Everett to come in. Red Sox within two at 6-4, but Everett in pain in the dugout would have to leave the game. Mild sprain of that right knee. It's flaring up again. He is day-to-day. -day. Then it rained for an hour and 48 minutes. Top eight, unfortunately for Rod Beck, it stopped raining. Off the center field wall, Tony Batista, Chris Richard comes in. 7-5 Orioles. Beck yanked after giving up a hit to all three batters he faced in the eighth. Thanks for playing. Top nine, Mike Lance in there for Nomar. Gorgeous. Nomar, your thoughts. Thank you. Boston still loses, though, 11 to 5. Joe Kerrigan's job already in jeopardy. A one and one start. Red Sox have lost seven of nine. Boston now a season high six games back of the Yankees. Right, this is Jeff Fry's own personal highlight. Bottom second. Fry against Darren Oliver. Soft fly ball to right. Gets past Ricky Leday. Fry into third. Rules a triple and Take note of that. I mean, actually, write that down right now. Bottom five. Fry leading off the inning for the Jays. Little fly ball to right. This looks familiar. Over the head of Lede this time. Fry in with a clean double, and he's got a little something working at this point. Bottom six now. Back to the game. Pat Mahomes into pitch for the Rangers. Down five to two. Jeff Fry up to the plate again in the six. Drives it down the left field line, and it's fair, and it is gone. Fry's second homer of the year. That leaves him a single, shy of the cycle. Next batter, Jose Cruz Jr. Later, two batters later, Shannon Stewart. Piling on, next batter, Carlos Delgado. 35th of the season. It's a bomb. Mahomes, five batters faced, gave up four home runs in the sixth. That ties a major league record. So Fry up in the seventh now, and if you've been keeping those notes, you know that he's a single shy of the cycle. Kelly Groover, the only man to do it for the Jays, looking on, and that's with the gap, but Fry obviously knows what's up because he's stopping right there. Second base, no, I'm good. Groover comes out to congratulate him, and then, of course, he gets the Barbasol pie from Delgado. Jays won at 11-3. Before Fry, Groover the only one to do it. April 16th, 19th. They arrived at Enron. Tony McKnight take, making his first start against his former team. And Richard Hidalgo says, yeah, I remember you. 15th of the year for Hidalgo. Astros up 2-0. Top five, 2-1 two Strohs. Dave Malicki facing Tyke Redmond. Redmond singles to center, gets past, oh, past Hidalgo, and Tyke is off and running like a man. In fact, he's going to make it all the way home. Single and an error on Hidalgo on the play, and we are knotted up at two. Bottom five, still tied, one on for Jeff Bagwell, and there's a drive. Gary Matthews Jr. trips over the hill out there. Why would you put a hill in the outfield? Julio Lugo scores. It's kitschy. It is kitschy. 3-2 Strohs, triple for Bagwell. Thanks to the Hill. Top seven, 6-3 Houston. Two on for pinch hitter Craig Wilson. Had five pinch homers this year, and it'll stay at five. Nelson Cruz gets some swinging. Strohs go on to win it 6-5. Dave Malicki wins his fourth. Seven, Todd Pratt on first, 3-1 Cardinals. Daryl Kyle facing Felipe Crespo, Fernando Vina. That in support of Kyle, who allowed only one run on six hits in seven. Two batters He's later, Marlon Anderson. The right side. This and one is slicing foul. Slicing Kerry Robinson the just Kerry about Robinson out of room down, down there. there. Oh, that's sensational. That ends the inning. Bottom seven, Miguel Cairo on third. Placido Polanco. To right, Uno Polono Polanco. Cairo tags, routine play. There's the throw. He scores. Hold the phone. Phillies appeal to third base ump Rick Reed, who calls Cairo out for leaving early, but clearly he did not. Rick, you missed that one, buddy. Top eight, Pat Burloff, Luther Hackman. Say hello, 
from a low front. It's good to be back. Two run homer is 18th for 3 3. Bob and I, they're loaded for Polanco. To center, Doug Glanville, the catch. A lot of sack flies in this show. Very exciting. Edgar Renneria jogs in, and the Cardinals win 4 3. St. Louis winning its ninth straight. They've won nine times in a row. Darrell Kyle gets stuck with a no decision. He has given up just six earned runs in his last off the DL before the game and starting it short. Top three, Rick Reed issues. Plunks Randy win. Three batters later, he drills Chris Gomez. That loads the bases. Reed hit three guys Friday. Next up, John Flaherty. This is going to be over the head of Torrey Hunter. It hops in there for a ground rule double. Two run score, six nothing Devil Rays. The wheels are off in many. And Rick Reed, he's up on blocks too. Two and a third, eight hits, six runs, ugly. Devil Rays win 9-4. Twins have lost eight in a row. Tampa Bay, the major's worst team, is 5-0 against the Twins this season. Tell me if he played Ramon Ortiz on the mound. Tell me the winder to right center. Darren Erstad, great diving grab. And watch it again. Erstad in some discomfort, and here's why. This is painful just to watch. Rolls over the glove. Looks like he rolled over it a couple of times. Somehow held on, and the former Nebraska football player would stay in the game. Bottom line, 7-2 Angels. Ortiz looking for the complete game and found it with the strikeout of Marty Cordova. Six hitter for Ortiz. Wins his fourth straight decision. He's at a career-high 11 wins in that department. On Elvis Tribute Night, top first, no score, two on. Jermaine Die against Dan Wright, and he finds a little grass. Johnny Damon and Jason Javi both going to score, 2 0 A's. Die, two for five on the night. A's can't help falling in love with Comiskey Park. Thank you. Top third, 3 0 A's, two on. Eric Chavez against Wright. High fly ball to center field. Carlos Lee cuts off Aaron Rowan, but dropped the ball. Terrence Long's going to come in to score. A's go up four, nothing. Top nine, 6-2 A's, two on, two out. Chavez against Allen Embry, and that ball is all shook up. Two-run homer, his 19th of the season. Personally, I like Teddy Bear, but it doesn't really figure into the highlights here. Nonetheless, A's get the win, 9-2. You know, we're only shooting you in this show from the waist up, just like Ed Sullivan. <laughs> Would there be a sequel? The Royals in Detroit had a wild Friday night. Last Friday night. This Friday night. Tony Clark, Roger Cedeno coming in. Damon Easley holding it third. Points up one zip. Next man up is Wendell McGee. Chris George into the dirt, gets by Greg Zahn. Easley scores. 2 0 Detroit. Mike, what do you have on the catcher play? We've got to have you talk about a catcher at least once in the show. Uh, Chris George spikes this breaking ball down the dirt. The, the dirt. Greg Zahn gets over there, maybe a tad late. Just scoots in between that arm and that pad. It's one of those things. That ball finds a gap of anything. That was a pretty rough bounce. That was a tough pitch to block. You would have had it, though, huh? Me or Mike? I would have called well, Mike would have had it. It was a joke. I was kidding. No Lima glove. Doesn't matter. Double play. Top six. Nathan Perez, base is empty. One-time Rocky. Right field line gone. Jose Lima is upset. Why? Well, I think he's upset because the Royals starting lineup tonight had a total of 48 home runs, which is fewer, of course, than Barry Bonds has this year. So I guess he didn't feel like he should give up a homer to that kind of lineup. Raul Abanez, Bobby Higginson. Do we have a web jam? I think we do. Thing is, that ball gets by him. He can just run for days in those caverns. No fights in this one. Lima gives up two runs and seven plus. Race. Vladimir Guerrero, top of the first. Base hit. Peter Bergeron coming in. Montreal's up one zip. Two on now later in the inning. Michael Barrett. Drives in two. Montreal's up three zip. Javier Vasquez, uh, Mike, has been just fantastic. Yeah, he has. And you want to talk about a young man with a live arm, a good running fastball. Real sneaky, that thing gets on you in a hurry. Here's Ray Langford with the acceleration the last three feet. Ben Davis up in the zone, and then Mark Kotze, boom. Check swing, National League, you're gone. And then down goes uh, Ryan Klesko. Four-nothing, a final. Vasquez goes eight innings, does not give up a run. So that
John Henry says his team will lose $20 million this year. The Fish had also lost four straight heading into Denver. This is Jose Ortiz, and like the Magna Carta, that is history. Second of the game, Rockies up 10 to 5 after the solo shot. Bottom eight, two outs. Rockies up 11 5. Ortiz off Ricky Bonus, and that is high, deep, and gone. All those things. Third home run of the game. Ortiz has five homers this year, and the Rockies win it 12 5. Fifth straight loss for the Fish. Ortiz, the 16th three homer game in the majors this season. 21st time this season the Rockies have scored in double digits. Surprisingly, that leads the majors. Brew crew in Cincinnati, top five. This is Jeremy Burnett, and that's a home run off Lance Davis. His third in three games, 27th of the year, and it's 3 0 Milwaukee. Bottom seven, Reds down 5 1. Junior has to step out here. What is going on out there? Time, please. Jose Rijo is warming up in the bullpen, hasn't pitched to the big leagues since July of 95. In fact, he's had a Hall of Fame vote. Mini Minoso in 76, the last guy to get a Hall of Fame vote and play in the majors again. Top eight, Henry Blanco. Rijo gets him to fly to left, and Brady Clark sticks the landing. Rijo works a scoreless eighth. Welcome back. Top nine, he loaded him up. Then blows one by Richie Sexton. Next up, Jose Fernanda Hernandez. He sits him down and Rio standing O. Worked two innings, gave up two hits, walked two, struck out two, and said afterward, no moment could beat this moment today until I die and go to heaven and meet Jesus. This feeling is that.